Welcome back. Welcome back to the next episode of HGV Talks. ZZ, are you going to come make an appearance immediately as soon as I start? As soon as I start talking, look at him show up. Hi, hey, bud. He was sitting in the window. I didn't even know he was there, to be honest. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Uh, go Chiefs. Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Thank the Lord. Can't believe they won. Uh, actually, I can. I can. Uh, it was a crazy week. Uh, obviously, the Super Bowl, the day of the Super Bowl was a wild day. I ended up having people over. had a big party over here. It was a crazy game. Went overtime. You guys know the deal if you watch the game. It was it was crazy. I can't believe the Chiefs have won two straight. I really, I don't know if they'll hit the three-peat. I feel like that's kind of insane. Um, I mean, we'll see what they do in the offseason, see what happens. But I'll keep the football talk for the football talk. Football season's over. I'm done with it for now. It's easy. Are you really going to come bug me right now? What you? What is up with you? You've been wanting so much attention. I don't know what's going on with him. Ow! I just scratched my belly. Um, you jumping up? Come on, make a decision. You coming? Yeah. There he is. There's the boy. Okay. Okay, bud. You happy? Just sitting in my lap. Oh, he's been so needy lately. I don't know what's going on with him. Mwah. He's been just adorable. Uh, anyway, what else happened this week? Um, I finished that beer summit. I think, I don't know if I recorded this one before I finished the beer summit or if I was about to finish it. I think I like had like one day left. So we finished that on Saturday. So I've been cutting out. I didn't drink after the Super Bowl until last night, Friday night. I had, I had one glass of gin on the ice, on the rocks and a high noon, which was like nothing. So I wasn't, I didn't like drink that much. I still felt fine. Woke up good. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying the cutting out the drinking again. It was just, we were having a good stream on TikTok and on kick. The streams have been going really well. I've been playing the Emerald, the Kaizo Ironmon, and the streams have been going just in, in, insanely good. Um, the TikTok's been popping off, man. I was averaging yesterday. I averaged like, I was probably like close to a hundred most of the night. And then today I just decided to stream because I was going to take the day off excuse me um i was gonna take the day off but then my wife uh her brother called saying that their mother wants to go skiing because it was like kind of snowing a little bit and they hadn't gone all year and i was like i hurt my shoulder i can't go skiing but if you guys want to feel free i'll do some work and that's what i ended up doing so i streamed a little bit on tiktok and i was like over 200 viewers for like a chunk of the day like tiktok streams have been going crazy for like three hours straight in the chats you know on fire the whole day I had like well over a thousand comments on the day so it's like you know, it's not just high viewership with nothing to it, you know, so it's, it's been good. A lot of people returning, a lot of, you know, getting regulars over there, which is a really cool thing. I'm trying to say, you know, trying to get them to, you know, come over to the YouTube, see these videos, come over to the kick streams and, you know, try to expand rather than it just being on TikTok. But I'm glad if people are watching, no matter where it is, you know, it's been, it's been awesome. It's been really good. Uh, the Emerald Kaizo Ironmon Challenge, I'm doing so bad. In the last 24 hours i've done like 200 attempts with not even getting past like the first gym it's been i can't even believe how bad my luck has been it's just been crazy honestly but people seem to enjoy the struggle and watching the struggle and you know hoping that this will be the run and you know i've I had a lot of fun watching iron mons and i started seeing how fun they were to you know watch they, they looked like they wouldn't be fun to play, which is what my concern was. So that's why I'd never tried them. But then I tried it and I was like, I actually, this is really fun. I actually really enjoy it. So, um, yeah, I just, I'm really liking it. It's a fun little thing we're doing right now. I can always set up doing an Ironmon of other games as well. I believe they have the Ironmon rules set up for like Gen 1 through 5, I believe. I could be wrong. Um... But yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to do those during the subathon, which is next week. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing any po uh, podcast episodes during the subathon. I'll try to pre record enough YouTube to be going live. But I mean, if you guys are in my community and you watch me, if I'm doing a subathon and I'm playing for two weeks straight, you're not going to be missing out on the YouTube content. I'll be live for 15 hours a day, every single day, pretty much. I mean, some people have been scaring me about how long this <laughs> subathon's gonna go i mean 
I whatever happens, man, I'm gonna love it. Honestly, we did the math, and for it to go, well, Russo did the math. He said if it went 30 days, I think that means I would have to get like 15,000 subs or something like that, which is like twice what I make an entire year. So I was like, shit, if I go for 30 days, I ain't even gonna be mad at it. I mean, I'll definitely be exhausted and dying while it's happening, but I doubt it's not gonna go that long. That's an insane amount of money. Uh, the only way I could see it possibly going, you know, like two plus weeks is if the people who already are the big donators, you know, Benny, Jake Paul, Russo, Chris, Sheriff, like I'm not even gonna go through all the names, but the people who have done large amounts in the past, if like they got something cooking and they go above and beyond what I've, what I could even expect, which is already crazy. Um, but it's a lot of fun. I'm excited for the subathon. I, I gotta like a hundred percent dial down how I'm gonna do the giveaways and like the merch stuff. Um, I've done the last few subathons I did. Oh my funny bone! Oh, I just hit my funny bone. Sorry, Zizi. Um, I realized I lose money on subathons pretty much because I, leading up to the subathon, it's a super slow month usually because people are preparing for it. They're gonna they're not gonna donate you know, a hundred dollars the week before the subathon, they're going to wait till the timer's on and it's going to add to the timer. So all the subs that I would normally get like the month leading up to it or whatever usually slows up. And then the subathon's a huge time frame where it's crazy in a short period of time. But then the month after that, and sometimes two months after that are really, really slow. So if I took, you know, quarterly income, you know, brackets for me, what I made in each quarter, you probably won't even really be able to tell which months the subathons were in. Because overall, I don't really make a crazy different amount of money in like the three or four months total that include it because of like the drop off prior and after it. And that's whatever. It's still a huge fun thing to do. I love it. But then I do so many giveaways and I spend so much money on it that I end up like in the hole pretty bad after a subathon. I spend like 2000 to $3,000 on giveaways and I make like eight to 9000 from the two subathons I did. So it's like you know, almost half of it on those giveaways. And then I buy games. I buy, you know, stuff to do during the subathon. I, you know, just then taxes and all that stuff I'm gonna have to worry about as well. So it's like, it's just a really bad way I'm doing it. So I got to minimize the giveaways I do. I think what I'm going to do is like a top. I hate, I hate to make a cutoff of like the top five donators. We'll get, like a custom giveaway thing. But it's like, I also hate if someone donates $500 to me and I give them nothing in return except longer streams, even though I guess that's what the point of it is. You donate to increase the time of the stream. But I don't know. It's a weird thing. And I think I have a couple ideas what I'm going to do. Instead of just, you know, giving more and more back to the people who donate the most, I want to try to do some more like unique giveaway stuff. One of the ideas I had, these tie-dye shirts that my wife has been making with me, um, they're super fun to make and they come out really good. So I was thinking of doing some, you know, get like just black breezy hoodies with the breezy stitched in it and then tie-dye them manually like myself with like the color scheme that like the top five people wanted, you know, get their sizes and order them all and do them all. Me and me shall do them, probably do them on stream or something. I don't know. And you know, do something like more custom and handmade kind of from, you know, us to you. Um, you know, I, it's just, I want to do something more cool rather than just expensive, you know, because I can, you can just go buy merch if you really wanted merch. But I was thinking about doing something like that. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys have any ideas of what kind of giveaways you think would be cool, especially if you're one of the people who are probably winning them. Uh, definitely give me some more ideas of what kind of things you would like. But yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Um, what else is going on right now? I mean, it's kind of all it's been. We've just been doing kind of the Ironmon and streaming. YouTube's going good. Having a good time. TikTok's popping off. Um, and, oh, the Pokemon of the week. Let me pull that up. I saw in the comments, I think his name was Kirby, said, I'd like to hear about a background on Absol. So today, I'm going over Absol. Um, I actually, I read that this prior to the video, and it was actually pretty cool. I liked it. Uh, Absol is the dark type Pokemon, 
known as the disaster Pokemon, which I've always known that was what the Pokedex entry was for. I never really understood why, but this taught me a lot. Um, it's unique, has a unique ability to sense natural disasters such as earthquakes and tsunamis before they occur. So it's given the misconception among humans of the Pokemon world that Absol is the harbinger of doom, meaning they think it's the bringer of doom rather than it just is alerting the doom. So it's, you know, you understand the Pokemon. It's basic usage is it has a really high attack stat and it has super luck. So it can crit. So a lot of people, Swords Dance, Sucker Punch, you know, it gives you the priority because it's pretty slow and pretty bad in every sense except for physical attack. And you can get like Night Slashes off and you can crit with them with the super luck or Sculpt Lens, whatever. You know, you can do a ton of damage, base 130 attack. Pretty strong, but overall kind of leaves some room to leave some you know to be desired um but what i looked up and found was what it's based off of i never had any idea what it was based off of uh it comes from the mythological mythological i cannot talk the myth oh, mythological creatures <laughs> strong uh including the bai ze b-a-i space z-e or the hakutaku from Chinese and Japanese mythology, known for its ability to predict disasters. So I looked up what those were. I'll pull up if you're watching the video. I looked them up and seen some images of the Baize, which looks kind of like a lion-esque type thing with a big mane and some horns. And it's it makes sense. It makes sense. And the Hakutaku seems kind of similar imagery. Kind of like a, you know cat-like thing with a tail big mane and horns which is pretty cool i literally did not know that's what it was based off of but it makes sense considering you know they usually don't make up these creatures out of nowhere they usually base them off of something no, but i had never heard of those i never heard of the baize and the hakutaku so it's pretty cool to see um what else what else did i see the in-game rarity apparently in several pokemon games absol is considered a rare encounter often found in locations associated with stories or lore about disasters or calamities that's pretty cool. I never really thought about that. Let me look up where Absol, Absol's in-game locations are. Let me see. Um, game data. Game locations. Route 120 on Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Where's Hoenn Route 120? Um, that's just like a pretty regular route, so that doesn't make sense. Um, let's see, Route 213 in Diamond and Pearl. Where's Route 213? It's just a pretty regular route, so I don't really think this is really working correctly. It's in a lot of places in Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. Black and White's in the Giant Chasm or Route 13, which is, again, just a water route, kind of just like a water and grass route. Um, in Sun and Moon, it's in Mount Lanakila, which that makes more sense. You know, it's up on the mountain, up on the top of villages and stuff. But yeah, I don't really know if that's a good description. That might have been some bad information I got. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, they say the superstition of Absol apparently in the game is similar to the real real world superstitions around like black cats or ravens, which is kind of funny. And what else did we see? Mm, I don't know, but overall I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, it was cool to see that, like, the the lore that it's based off of as, like, the disaster, you know, predictor, or, you know, whatever you want to call it. I had always noticed Absol's Pokedex thing said the disaster Pokemon. I just never knew why, but it makes a lot more sense now. Um, if you've ever heard of the Baize or the Hakutaku, let me know. I have some, you know, tattoos of, you know, like a food dog and whatever. So, like, I've looked into these types of, you know, mythological creatures before because I always find them fascinating. So... Surprised I hadn't run into them before. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Absol's not a terrible Pokemon. I've used it in some randomizers, and it can, ends up being pretty solid. I just had one in the Soul Link, and it died immediately. I felt so bad. So I thought about it, too. When we when I got the Absol, I remember seeing the comment about it, and I was like, someone just mentioned wanting to hear about Absol, and I let it die so quickly. Uh, but anyway, uh, good little information on Absol. And yeah, having a good week. Like I said, podcasts will probably be on hold for the time being during the subathon. Might miss like two to three weeks, depending on how long it takes. Hopefully not more than like two. <laughs> but we'll be seeing you guys on the subathons. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and following on Kick. Uh, name is HGV Breezy everywhere. So 
I'll see you there and I'll see you next time. Peace out.